Hey guys, uh, so my name is Ashish and I'm the founder of NextPigWatt. As part of our unboxing product management series, let's look at the most frequently asked question that I ever get, which is how do I transition from engineering to product management? Uh, if you look at it, majority of product managers in tech companies actually come from engineering. So uh, there is in general, a major outflow from engineering to product management. Many of them find it very easy. Some of them find it very difficult. Some of them never really scale into a great product career. So what does it take to scale, to, to transition successfully from engineering to product management? Let's take a look. The first question that you really need to ask and answer yourself is, what do I bring to the table? So if you're an engineer, depending on your experience, your credibility, your uh, expertise, your interest in certain domains, what do you really bring to the table? So typically engineering expertise, if you look at it, uh, there are different components to it. For instance, uh, you already have an experience working with QA with engineering team, project management, program management, and pretty much all the different functions which are part of the engineering teams. You also have an understanding of code base of the product architecture and different frameworks that are uh, either being used or could be used. Most importantly, you have an ability, so you, you know how to talk to engineers in their language, right? So, so these are some of the core skills that you bring to the table, assuming that you have a decent amount of experience working in engineering teams. Now the question is, uh, let's dive into the important question, which is how do I transition? So first of all, there is no straightforward answer here. Uh, each individual, depending on their context, has his or her own way of transitioning. But here is what I would uh, recommend. That is, learn the core of product management. That is, gain or acquire practical knowledge. Uh, I would recommend taking up a course if you want to really learn in a systematic and uh, uh, structured format. Most importantly, get involved. This is how I transitioned from engineering to product management. And this is how great uh, professionals actually move to product management without even knowing that they have actually moved to product management. Because they volunteer for a lot of initiatives within the company. For instance, uh, if you're involved, let's say your company is relaunching or reworking on its intranet, right? So go ahead, get involved and, and kind of be, be somebody who is always seen as a useful and helpful person and who brings a different perspective to the table. Get noticed. This is something which a lot of people have done and uh, I strongly recommend that you fall, fall in love with the notion of writing. If you are writing and you're able to, you know, uh, talk about certain products you love, certain experiences you love in products, you will get noticed. And once you get noticed, you know, you, you can actually, the whole transitioning becomes extremely easier and simpler. When it comes to writing, uh, it could be different formats, blogs, tweets, a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post, videos, anything works as long as, as you are able to stick your neck out and talk about your perspective and experiences with different products. Should I just quit and start applying for different jobs? So assuming that you have, say, 45 years of engineering experience, you have worked for product companies. So the question is, should you start looking for a job and you just, you know, say goodbye to your engineering career? I would strongly recommend not doing that. 
but the way forward i would really recommend is move to a role within your company so you are an engineer working in a you know hardcore engineering environment try to move to a more customer centric engineering role it could be a product lead uh, so uh, t- take up some of the internal products so for instance if there is a new product which is being worked on and uh, which is not the sexy uh, front facing customer facing product but nobody wants to take it up go ahead and you know volunteer for it once you move once you switch to a role within your company you you will be in a better position you will be more confident of the role itself of the product management role itself and you switch the job whenever you think is the right time assuming that you have gained enough confidence and skills next option is move to your dream company as an engineer so let's say my dream company is say tesla i'm a automobile engineer so i i i move to tesla as an engineer and i work my way up for the next say, few years say one or two years i really stay you know put in terms of my core skills but at the same time i volunteer for other products and move to a role within the company essentially there are two things here one is you are in love with the company which is when i would strongly recommend try moving within the company acquire all the skills second is you are in love with the role the with the notion of product management role so try doing some of those within your company it's a safe bet even for you even for the company that you know you are an, in- an engineer maybe you volunteer for say uh, you know few hours extra for some of these internal products once you have gained enough knowledge skills and confidence then you start looking for a job most importantly stay committed whatever you do understand that it's a step process it's a step wise process you no hiring manager will bet on you if you don't bring something which is like really useful as an engineer based on the expertise you have done that but um, as a product manager maybe a hiring manager won't feel very comfortable with you so you have to stay committed to the cause now this is something that i really want to ask and you should answer yourself which is uh, do you really want to get into a role which has no authority uh, yet a lot of responsibilities versus a role which is engineering role which is full of authority there's a lot of power to it uh, if you're director of engineering you actually have a lot of power a cto has much more power and authority than product heads so do you really want to get into this role which has no authority but a lot of responsibilities a lot of heaviness around the definition itself or you are running away from engineering function and you're looking at product management as an escape goat there is nothing wrong with it many many of the engineering turned product managers have been through that which is uh, they they started their career in in, in engineering they quickly realized that they are not enjoying engineering as much as they would enjoy a management function but they don't want to get into project management but do understand that if you're running away from engineering and you're getting into product management it would need a lot of hard work on your side and if you are somebody who really enjoys engineering and you're getting into product management really ask why so that's it for now if you have questions right you can write to me directly ashish at nextbigword.com or you can just leave a comment cheers